everybody, I'm Magic Mario TV, and welcome to a reaction again. To that, now we're gonna go ahead and start to react to the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. I know this has already been passed, and it dropped while I was still taking a college class, but whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and react to it. Let's see what my thoughts are on it. Here we go. It's only 15 minutes long, and let's take a shot. Let's let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. The Flower Kingdom. Land just beyond hey, the Daisy. Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. Oh, the copyright from Disney! King of the Koopas. Well, 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 Bowser is back we yet again. The touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. What is this? <laughs> this is just crazy. <laughs> Yo, that is some uh, Beast Wars End Game Season Two crud. Okay, everything's going good. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. The fort! Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Yosho! And Nebit. Okay. In this presentation, we we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. The Flower Kingdom. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total Petal of Isles. seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Tubular! Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Yo! Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of Shining Falls. Shining Falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the spelunk Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select It's a like course. Star Allies in terms of freaking You can even walk Hub World the open areas you find. Yo! Also like Mario 3D if you're World. Not quite ready to take on a particular Hoppos. Course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Okay. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy It literally is Kirby Star Allies. <laughs> oh, I hit the mic, bro. I'm sorry. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder uh, what Nobby. this tastes like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Shut up. Of course you can play as Mario. Besides Mario, Yo! you can play as... That's a lot Peach. of characters! Peach! Daisy, one of two toads, and ah! Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. What? They all play the same, so go they, with your favorite. No difference. Or mix no it up. nothing. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be like Mario 3D World. The Yoshi's and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. They're immortal! Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch Mostly. your step. 
Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Bro, <laughs> go back. Go back, bro. Jump, eat objects, and yo, yo, that freaking face. You blue Yoshi's face over there. I'm gonna go zoom in on that. That face. Bruh. Hit <laughs> them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hobby cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Hobby cats. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Melon planties. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Ha ha! When conks attack, they'll even Kong. plow through goo. Like Mumsies can be unraveled if you position Speed. yourself just right. Speed. Ma Ma's will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as run, well. Run, run, run. Oh, that freaking Goombas. Marsupial. Koopa Troopas. Boos. Locky twos and Locky twos. It's Locky twos, not Locky twos. Those are also here. Bubble Mario, bubble, bubble Mario, baby. Let's go. Uh, I think Drill Mario is back. Now it's fully integrated, and it's. And it looks like it's gonna be an improvement for Mario Galaxy Two. Also, freaking Elephant Mario. Yes. Next, let's look at the new power ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Good, good. Destroy blocks and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. This See? is good. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi. Everybody's an elephant. The Toads. <laughs> what even is? What? what elephant Toad just look, looks like Dumbo. Everyone wants a Dumbo. Hey, uh. Peach. Daisy. Oh, go back. Go back. Cursed. Cursed. And Toadette all have elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. Is, are the fire flowers enemies surrounding you Are the fire flowers back? Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. This looks broken, you can dude. Even jump off them like platforms. Yo, this is a broken... Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard-to-reach places. Just like that. <gasps> While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky... or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Dead. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. I'm definitely getting in a this. Tough spot? Dig away! You can even burrow into the ceiling. Which is good. Drill! Whoa! I wasn't expecting company. Whoa. Well, you sure you weren't? Classic fire form makes a return. That's good to know. Oh, <laughs> and you can hang on to an extra power up. In a Elephant. Pinch, bust out a power up. Or Yo. swap them to better fit the situation. Didn't we do that in Mario? New, su new Super Mario Bros. That's what I meant to say. Just wonder? This is a wonder flower. A plant wonder flower. That okay. in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. Oh god, it's the Lion King! The terrain may tilt. Oh crap, that's gonna be something. Run. You can end up in a free fall. Free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Wow. Your perspective can change. Yo! 
or you might float through the might become a Goomba? You it did not watch the Super Mario Bros. Super Show! So that's why it turned into a Goomba! <laughs> Bro! Or a spike ball! He's now limp biscuit, baby! Or blow up like a balloon! Damn, he thick! When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. <laughs> Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. <sighs> Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you- Oh, it's, it's so wonder seeds are gonna be like the power- The required token item that you're gonna have to get throughout the Collected. thing. Okay. <laughs> You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a poplin. What's a poplin? <laughs> oh, I guess that's the poplin. Better start collecting. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Badges there that are do a stuff. Variety of badges, each with its own special ability. We got no stinking Let's badges. Go over some of them. I am. I got ten badges. Don't know how make. Don't know how that makes sense. It's a Pokemon reference. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Wall climb. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. Dolphin kicks, you can also bro. Break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching the Mario Bros. Badge. 2 jump. Yes, Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the grab. Yo, he's vines. Spider Toad. <laughs> Recover from <laughs> drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Can only be used Easily once. Find important items using the sensor badge, which can only late game. I'm uh, let late game, I assume. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. Oh, I can't wait for speed runs to do this. In the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. I, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a no badge playthrough. <laughs> well, I have a feeling there's going to be a no badge playthrough. <laughs> can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it. Go for it. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Poplin shops, sure baby. Exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Finally, co-op. Is there gonna be online? Please let them be online. Play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. We're all if elephants. Is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. Spooky. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Do they die? Die? Not life either. And just so you know. If someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and yes! ride them around the course. Right! If you're also playing as a Yoshi. Yoshi on Yoshi action, baby! <laughs> oh my god, I feel so much respect for Yoshi. I'm so sorry for Yoshi. Okay, online play. Let's see what we got. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map. Oh my god, it's literally Sonic Prime! In courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. That's kinda lame, but okay! Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings, Okay. share in-game items, even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with oh, other players online. I have a feeling this is going to be something. New adventure together. 30 frames, I love it. You can also place a standee in a course. Standee. Standees can revive ghosts, 
So place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more okay. to your collection. You never know which standee Freaking you'll get. The elephant princess has looked when strange you come to me. When contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts. Ghosts! Gifting items. Just Reaching the, the goal pole together and more will earn you heart points. Heart points, baby! <laughs> While Get playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter Spoilers! Together, and even race through certain courses. Okay. Start a race by hitting the race Friend bar. race. Oh, this is going to be something. Then make a run for it. I can't wait. Everyone's going to have to get the jet badges. Reaching the goal pole is the only way to finish. A Wonderful! Race. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Little Whether Bowser you're Jr. Casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You Run! Can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! Spider Mario! I am the pot. I am I am the amazing Spider Mario. What? Yo. Spider Mother. Oh, clouds and stuff. Jump into the unexpected with Mario. Oh, it's and almost Brad. over. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is. Just, this is just red! This is red, dude! Also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED model. Very sneaky! Edition launches October 6th. Sneaky, 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 sneaky! You wanted me to make. Want me to get that money, money? Okay. Okay. Well, what? Gotta say. This, this is looking interesting. Mario Bros. Wonder is looking mighty interesting. Mario Bros. Wonder is looking interesting, my guy. So. The amount of power ups? It's looking good. Online playability! I'm a little torn, but it's nothing. As long as you can play couch co op with someone else. Uh, the potential is there! The potential of like badges, like a non badge playthrough, and like speedruns using only the jet badge, that is something that, that's sticking to my memory. But yeah, I thought this direct was pretty neat. Nice to know, like, the general plot of the game. Which is Bowser's here again, and he wants the power for something, blah blah blah, and... Can't wait to play the game come October 20th! So yeah, those are my thoughts and reaction to this Super Mario Wonder Direct. So, hope y'all enjoy it! So, and if you like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to do more reactions to anything. So... And also, yes, I am still completely working on uh, my revamp to my very first YouTube poop and still working on two separate Sonic playthroughs, juggling all that together. So, I yeah, just wanted to keep myself a little busy. And also managing personal stuff. Nothing bad, it's just, just wanted to, just personal stuff that I, that I do. So yeah, I love you guys, may God be with you. Bye bye, see you later, peace! Wait, the, the camera was focusing...